In this video, Galaxy's Mike Novogratz discusses the impact of Donald Trump's election on the cryptocurrency industry, highlighting the support for digital assets and innovation represented by Trump's pro-Bitcoin cabinet. He notes that growing demand for Bitcoin from the Middle East and equity markets, predicting potential new highs in the current price discovery phase. Mike acknowledges leverage in the system, especially in stocks like MicroStrategy, but remains confident that Bitcoin will not drop below 80K and points out the risk of sharp corrections in highly leveraged assets compared to underlying commodities. Now open wide open. The entire cabinet almost owns Bitcoin and as proponents of digital assets. I mean, Kennedy said his whole net worth is in Bitcoin. So the people around that table are very pro this space. They're pro innovation, they're pro digital assets, they're pro Bitcoin. And I think the rest of the world has to take notice and we're seeing it. We're seeing it with buying from the Mideast. Uh, right now, there seems to be an almost inexhaustible demand from the public equity markets. You look at micro strategy, what Michael Saylor is doing, and that's the real big buyer of crypto right now. People funding in the equities, using those monies to buy Bitcoin. But you know, normally you hit 100, you bounce off of it. I would not be surprised if you know we go much higher. We're in price discovery. There's not a lot of supply. There had been a giant seller for the last week between 92, 93, and 94, probably 14, 15 billion dollars of Bitcoin sold there. I know because we saw the buying, uh, not us personally, but the, the, the US right. market. But and Mike, so as a trader though, if you're just trying to trade this, as you know so well, it is, it, it, there are times when it blows through whatever you think the target is, and, and 100, you're saying, yeah, maybe it, it blows through that. There's also been these sort of remarkable retrenchments where, you know, it retraces 50%. Yeah, listen, there's a ton of leverage. I don't think it'll retrace 50%. I, I am very confident we don't go back below 80. Uh, very confident, right? That's kind of where we took off for 76, 77, uh, you know, pre-election, that, that election move. Uh, it would be shocking to me if we went back. But listen, there's a ton of leverage in the system right now. You look at these three times levered, you know, micro strategy ETFs, two time levered. You look at the funding rates to, to do crypto uh, in our market, right? The perpetual market right. as high as they've been. The basis is high. And so the crypto community is levered to the gilts. And so there will be a correction. Well, so let, let's just speak to that, though, because, you know, every time you say the word leverage, um, I think those who are risk managers, it's like a red flag. It's, they, they hear that and it's like a bell goes off. Leverage in the system. And here we are talking about two and three times leverage. I don't know if you think that's too much leverage, but how would, if that were to quote unquote break, how would that, how would that manifest itself? Well, listen, I mean, you know, the Bitcoin's a 50, 60 vol asset. And why do you need any leverage on it? But people have leverage on it, right? MicroStrategy's a uh, 100 plus of vol stock. Uh, and to double leverage that, you know, uh, seems like you're asking for trouble at one point. And so there will be some sharp corrections, certainly in the stocks that are more levered than the, than the you know, the underlying commodity itself. Right. Uh, by definition, there has to be. You don't know where I it comes from. 